The devastating earthquake over these mountainous regions of southern Turkey and northern Syria, where a majority of the Kurdish people live, is part of the greater Kurdistan. That is what the news media did not mention, could not report. For Kurdistan is not a legitimate country, but a region spans across part of Turkey, Syria, Iraq, and Iran. The decimated areas near the epicenter of the tectonic shift were mostly Kurdish populated towns and cities. Now, what you probably wouldn't know the Kurds have a long history of being the most persecuted minorities. They are at the mercy of their own respective countries. Mercifully, the Turkish government acted as soon as they could, as they are no strangers to earthquakes. However, it's not possible to prepare for a disaster of this enormous scale. The Turkish president immediately accepted the aid and rescue efforts of over 70 organizations from 45 countries to assist in the most colossal disaster in recent Turkish history. However, in neighboring Syria, where there's already a decade-long humanitarian crisis, it's a very different story. Millions of displaced Syrians, including the Kurdish ethnic minority, already vulnerable from the civil war, were living in the exact worst-hit regions it also didn't help when the Syrian government only declared a state of emergency after 36 hours since the earthquake began. Due to the delay, external aid were unable to reach Syria during the crucial hours, adding to the sharp rise of the death toll numbers It will take years for the recovery. But for now, it doesn't seem like there's an end in sight for this part of the greater Kurdistan.